Lauren Winfrey has more on the man who gave sheriffs the tips they needed, and she spoke with people who live near the farm where Jakubowski was captured. She's live as we continue our coverage now from Vernon County. Lauren. Stephen Carroll, Joseph Jakubowski is on the run no more. He was captured right here in the town of Viola in the wooded area of this property right behind me. Now, I spoke with a farmer who lives in the area. He said it is quite a relief to know that this massive manhunt is now over. Up, you know, right on top of the hill up here. It's there on a hill. Jim Baker, a farmer in the town of Viola, says the manhunt for Joseph Jakubowski ended. They covered the area real good and they uh, found him early this morning. Law enforcement confirms Jakubowski was taken into custody without incident after receiving a call from Baker's neighbor, Jeff Gorn. Gorn told the Verona County Sheriff's Office someone was trespassing on his property and sleeping in a makeshift tent nearby. He had no idea it was the man law enforcement had been searching for for days. To tell you the truth, I felt bad for the person, number one, because I've already, I had already talked to him and I saw him in a different light. I did not see him in the same light that, that was being demonstrated there. To be right in your backyard when I thought he would probably be gone, you know, a thousand miles from here and to just be right in your backyard was kind of a shock. <laughs> And although shocked, Baker says he and his wife, June, are also now relieved. After 10 days of evading law enforcement with more than a dozen stolen guns in tow, 32-year-old Joseph Jakubowski is no longer on the run, and families like the Bakers can once again rest easy. They come this morning at 6 o'clock. When I got up and turned the light on, they came and told me that they had captured him and that uh, there was no shooting or nobody got hurt or anything. And it was a big relief. Mm -hmm. And coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear more from Jeff Gorn about how this whole thing kind of came together by happenstance. Reporting live in the town of Viola, Lauren Winfrey, today's TMJ4. It all ended with one phone call. Lauren Winfrey, thank you.